Hey, Queen of San Joaquin here, and today's video is for anybody who has ever wondered what the fuck this light is. That right there. What is it? What is it supposed to mean? What do you do when it comes on? Basically, that light is the cross section of a tire. That's right. That's why it's weird looking. It's not, it's like as if you, if you cut a tire in half and looked at it, that's what it's supposed to be with an exclamation point inside telling you you're probably low on air pressure. I don't know why they don't just make it look like a fucking tire, but whatever. So let's just go check our air pressure, shall we? So first off, put your car on a very level surface, as level as you can get it. Then take your valve, valve stem dust cover off. Unscrew that sucker. Put your tire pressure gauge evenly on the valve and press. And we've got a reading of almost 25. Wow, that's low. Next tire. Eh, that's actually 25, so not so, so low. Next one. Wow, that's dusty. We got about 25. Wow, okay. They seem to be all about 25. Let's fill them up. Proceed to fill up your tire until the gauge reads approximately 32 to 35 PSI. The reason you want your air pressure at about 32 to 35 for a regular size sedan is because the air pressure in your tires fluctuates with temperature. So as the temperature goes up, the pressure in your tires expands and causes your pressure to go up. And when it gets cold, the air pressure uh, condenses and decreases and that causes your pressure to go down. So if you've got it around 32 to 35, you're never going to go really below 25 to 22 or 42 to 45 when it gets hot. That way you're never really too low or too high. Uh, you want to check the sidewall of your tire. It will tell you what your maximum pressure is when, when it's cold. That's the reading. So you never want to fill it above what it says on the side of the tire. Ever. And also put even pressure in all of your tires. No matter what your pressure is going to be. If you're going to go 32, put 32 in all of your tire, all your tires. If you're going to 35, 35 in all your tires. Again, check your pressure. We're about 25. I'm take that off. Do, 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 do. All right, we're at 33. By the way, that's what this is for on the back of your tire gauge, is to go like this. Interesting, huh? Put all of your valve stem covers back. Now we've got some pressure in our tires. The light should go off. Unless it's gonna be a dick and not go off. Huh, well fuck so you might have to drive around for a little bit to get the light to go off for the sensor to uh, uh, read that there is now air in the tires. Don't freak out and put more air in when the light doesn't go off right away because sometimes it doesn't. Mm, voila! The light is gone! Yay! So if you like what you see, Go ahead and like
like and subscribe or be a free spirit, get stuck behind a tractor, put some air in your tires because the fucking light is on. Ugh. This is like, I swear to God, the story of my fucking life right here. No matter where I go, no matter what I do, there is always a slow ass fucking tractor or something. Oh, we're gonna pass them, maybe. I don't, uh, okay. Well, this is a good time to talk about air pressure then. My God, can we just go? <laughs> I'm literally going six fucking miles an hour. Getting on the freeway, going to the place, doing some stuff, having some fun. Woo!